We do thank the Lord God for giving us opportunity being now. God to give God praise. This is a place of worship. Yes. This is a place where you don't hold back. This is a place that's destined for you to get up for. Yes. So no one should be ashamed when it comes to you. If you find someone crying, that's not a shame. Yes. If you find someone screaming and you're asking God for something, it should not be ashamed. Yes. Expect it in a hospital. It should not surprise nobody in here is somebody giving their all in their mind, body, and soul to God. So it's a blessing to be in the house of God. I just want to thank the Lord God for my family. I have been blessed. I have been blessed with a family that very helpful. It's very cooperative that helped me with a lot of things. You know, I thank God for them as I see them get going in my life. Still, you know, being by my side. You know, I just thank the Lord God. I know a lot of y'all was wondering, you know, what happened to me. But I have hit my testimony of this. God has blessed me to go on a journey. He opened up the door for me to be on a mission. You know, I thank God one preacher said that if you got another mission, go on that. So I thank the Lord that he opened up the doors. You know, there's no strike with going on another mission. It's just another mission. It's just another work of the Lord. I mean, like one preacher said, this is another branch. It's not disconnected from the tree. It's just another branch growing off the tree. No separation. No division. But every part of the tree is giving God glory. So I just thank the Lord because, you know, it been time. And then time, many preachers I met kept telling me, you know, go do what you got to do. You know, so, you know, it took me a minute, but, you know, God knows when the perfect time is. Yes. God knows. You don't move or do anything unless God says so. Right. I'm telling everybody, mm -hmm. unless God say, do not move, you stay where you are. But when God say move, don't hesitate. You got to work. Because you never know that may not be a time you may not open that door again. So I just thank the Lord God. I think, you know, I still come here. I'm still a part of the body. It's just like somebody just, the hand is being the hand and the foot is being the foot. It's no different. It's still part of the body. Let Jesus lead you. Let Jesus lead you. All the way.
There's no one to fall to pizza now. Sending a lot of people to hell. Hallelujah. And I want to give God praise and glory for giving me another chance. Hallelujah. Sitting up on a false teaching. And if you're under there, you need to get away from there. Hallelujah. But I just want to just say a little bit, sing a little song. Um, Hallelujah. What more can he do? Hallelujah. He laid the foundation. Open up the door. Hallelujah. What more can he do? Glory to God. What more can he do?
so that better preparations can be made as it relates to if the van was going uh, or if you need hotel arrangements, or you can also feel free yourself to make your own hotel arrangements as well. Please keep in mind that November uh, 7th through the 13th, we will be participating in um, fasting and praying according to whatever the Lord laid on your heart to do that week, but specifically on that uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, there is service planned. So um, please govern yourselves accordingly. On Friday, the service begins at 7.30. On Saturday, the service begins at 6.30. And on that Sunday, the 13th service begins at 11 a.m. Please govern yourselves accordingly. We give God thanks and praise for our beloved brother, Ricky Gilmore, who celebrated his birthday yesterday. Unfortunately, it was also his niece's passing, so definitely her can say this is not a happy day, but we do say blessings to you for God giving you life. And we thank God for you. And on that note, we do thank and praise God for everyone who supports our family in the, the um, homegoing service of our sister in Christ, Sister Shamika Collins. We will definitely miss her gentle spirit. Truly, she's been a place since her child, and we were truly blessed to have her as our sister in Christ. Continue to pray for the family. If you know there's something that can be done for them, please feel free. We would like to also give early um, anniversaries of Congratulations to Brother Eugene and Sister Cherie Austin. We thank God so much for you all. <laughs> and how many years will you all be celebrating? What's that again, Sister? Eight. Eight years. We give God a praise. <laughs> and we um, did acknowledge Brother Corey and Sister Christy. Um, and how many years did you have? Oh, okay. <laughs> Y'all right there, eight and eight together. We thank God so much for you all. Thank God for Pastor Corey, and they were in Georgia at that time, and we thank God for y'all anniversary. Truly, it's a blessing. We acknowledge it because so many people are not together anymore. So to see you all together worshiping the Lord is truly a blessing. We thank God for all the couples. And um, coming up this week, we have um, what else? We acknowledge the rest of the birthdays a little later, but we do. Um, well, my brother Clifton is here. We, God willing, if, if the Lord's will, you will see a birthday on October 15th. We do want to acknowledge you since you are present. God bless you. Um, the youth and young adults will be singing for offering, God willing. We give God thanks for everything. For the rest of the order of service will be conducted by. Brother Rick, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, we do thank and praise God truly for, again, Southern Minister of the Father family. We're going to ask the Jones family because we know that they always love to sing and love to give God a praise and, you know, since it's all in. Yes. Yeah. A few of them, I know the church would love to hear from the Jones family. Yeah.
you'll be singing for the offering, and then you'll be singing for the pastor in his presence at his time. Second Corinthians 9, 6 to 8. But this I say, he who sold sparingly shall reap also sparingly. He who sold bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man according as purpose in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity. For God loveth a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound towards you, that yea, have always having all sufficiencies in all things, may abound to every good work. As it is written, he has dispersed abroad. Is given to the poor, his righteousness remains with us. Amen. Thanks for that. Thanks for that. Make way to lift up our offer. We're gonna, we're gonna have, we're gonna have two offers. First off, uh, of all, I'd like to thank all the saints who participated or uh, had a part in, you know, helping out my sister, you know, doing the burial of, of her daughter, my niece, in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you all for you know your love and your support in Jesus Christ's name. She's not here to say it, but I'm thank you on her behalf in Jesus Christ's name. And that's what we we're supposed to do as a collective group of saints in Jesus Christ's name. We're supposed to cry with them that cry, you know, laugh with them at, at last, especially when it's something that's you know done for the Lord in Jesus Christ's name. But to help out at a time like this, it, it shows great volume of love in Jesus Christ's name. I thank you all. At this time, we're going to get ready to uh, uh, lift up our offerings. We're going to have a special offering for the Collins family, which will be to my near left. And the core right will be the church offering. So I ask that those, you know, we're not going to take up a pastoral anniversary, I'm not a pastoral anniversary, but a pastoral aid offering. We're going to take up a, a love offering for the Collins family. And then also, also going to have the church offering. So if you would and you have, you know, just give a little. In Jesus' name, you know, if you don't have, don't even worry about it. But that's what the offering is for. Be led by Brother Justin in Jesus Christ. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord. With me.
Create in me a clean. 